Hello everyone, today we will compare regular foods with vegetarian ones. Take a look at this set of products right here. There's steaks and redfish, and some cutlets, brats, and much more. Surprisingly, the vegetarian store found an analog for each of these products. Vegetarians do not eat meat, milk, milk, or eggs. Therefore, it is interesting how they repeated the usual meat products without the main components. Let's start with the steak. This is your regular standard ribeye made of marbled beef. Let's unpack it. Now this is a vegan steak. There's no meat in sight. And it is made from a soy protein, oil, flavors, dyes, and starch. Let's open it up. Okay, so we can already see the difference really to the naked eye. The vegan steak is very dark. The smell test. The beef steak smells like milk. And the vegan smells like crackers with bacon. If you look closer, the meat has a fiber texture. In the vegan steak, the fibers were also tried to repeat, but they're kind of smaller. Pour oil on each steak. Pepper each of them. And some salt. And turn them over. And repeat the procedure here. We will cook this on an electric grill. Turn it up to the highest heat, and we will send the vegan steak on to roast. And also the beef one. Cook each one for three minutes on each side. Turn it over. And now we wait. The steaks are ready. We take them off. I'm gonna have to say that the beef one already looks more appetizing. So let's start with him. The roasting turned out really well, like medium rare. Let's try it. A rich meat flavor in its purest form, 10 out of 10. Let's cut into the vegan steak. There are fibers here too. Let's cut off a smaller piece and try it. I've never really eaten anything like this before, and my brain can't really identify the product. It looks like some kind of chemical meat with a bacon flavor, but the fibers are made really well. Six out of 10. Let's move on to the salmon. This is your basic common piece of fresh trout. Vegans have an answer to this in the form of artificial salmon. It is made from sugar, modified starch, sorbitol, rice flour, and a whole periodic table. Let's unpack it. So this smell test. Ordinary salmon smells like the sea, but the vegan one is straight fishy. Cut the usual salmon into slices. And this is the sashimi that we're left with. Let's repeat the same thing with the vegan one. The vegan one actually looks kind of prettier. Let's take some rice and form lumps of it like this. We'll need two of them. Let's scoop up some wasabi and smear it onto the fresh salmon. After which we'll spread it over. Do the same thing with the vegan one. What we're left is really good sushi. Now we will compare them by taste. We dip the sushi with ordinary salmon into the soy sauce and taste it, just like this. A very pleasant and familiar taste, 10 out of 10. Now the sushi with vegan salmon. This is so disgusting that it's impossible to eat. It tastes as if herring juices were squeezed out, sugar and gelatin were added to it, and this is what was left. It's just disgusting, zero out of 10. The cutlets are next. These burger steaks are made from the most common beef. Vegans wanna have burgers though too. Their patties consist of pea protein, grapeseed oil, rice protein, and again, just some flavorings. We will test the cutlets in the burgers. So therefore we will prepare the buns in advance by cutting them in half and grilling them until you get a crust like this. Now you can start frying up the cutlets. Do the vegan one first. And also the beef one. We will fry them as stated in the instructions for four and a half minutes on each side. And the beef as well. The burger will also include cheddar cheese in slices made from milk. 
The vegans also have cheddar cheese for their burger, but it already consists of water, coconut oil, flavors, and dyes. Turn the cutlets over. We spread the usual cheddar cheese over the beef. From a high temperature, it immediately begins to melt. And we put the vegan cheddar cheese on a vegan cutlet. Everything's ready. Now we transfer the cutlets with cheese to the rolls. The vegan cheese never melted. Now we'll have mayonnaise as a sauce. This is the most standard, made from eggs and butter. Let's add it to a regular burger. And for the vegan burger, vegan mayonnaise. The difference is that the aquafaba is used instead of eggs, and everything else is just the same. We'll spread it on the burger. Let's add pickles to each of the burgers and cover it up with the top bun. The burgers are ready. They look almost the same, but the most important thing is the taste. Let's try the standard burger. Juicy meat, melted cheese, and delicious mayonnaise. That's eight out of 10. Now the vegan burger. Again, the meat tastes like crackers with bacon. The cheese hasn't melted, but in general, it's possible to eat. Six out of 10. Let's move on to the nuggets. These are made out of minced chicken, spices, and breadcrumbs. We'll take it out of the package right away. Vegan nuggets. They're made from textured pea protein, also wheat protein, starches, and spices. Let's open it up. They have a completely different look. We will deep fry them. So turn on the stove to the max. And fill the saucepans with oil. When it heats up, we send in the chicken nuggets to fry as well as the vegan nuggets. After four minutes, we take them out. So on the left, we have the ready-made vegan nuggets and on the right ones are the chicken ones. Let's start with them. We'll try it with ketchup. Just a standard delicious nugget. Nine out of 10. Now let's try the vegan ones. It doesn't look like these at all. Like they taste of some kind of like black grain bread and very strange texture. Just look at how they differentiate in appearance. Three out of 10. Finally, some sausage. Pork, beef, animal fat, and spices were used in this one. Take it out of the package and cut it into slices. Now for the vegan sausage. Here again, wheat protein, soy protein, coconut oil, starch, fiber, and a mixture of spices. Let's unpack it and slice into it. Let's remove the unnecessary film. And now a slice of sausage looks good. We will try it in the form of a sandwich, so we'll cut open a baguette. Smear with butter. One sandwich will be with the usual sausage. Into the second one with the vegan one. Let's try the regular sausage. It's a taste that everybody knows. 10 out of 10. Now for the vegan sausage. Well, basically it kind of tastes like sausage. However, for some reason it's like cheap. Six out of 10. Now some camembert cheese. It is made from the most natural cow's milk. We open it up. And cut it into triangles. Now for the vegan camembert. It is made from water, coconut oil, salt, and starch. Let's open it up. And cut into it as well. The original camembert cheese has a crust on the outside and a yellow soft filling on the inside, but the vegan camembert is completely homogenous. Okay, so let's put the ordinary camembert into some flour. Then dip it into some egg. And bread it in some panko breadcrumbs. And it's done. Let's do the same thing with the vegan camembert cheese. Dip 
done. Let's put them into the deep fryer. After 30 seconds, you can take it out. So now these cheeses have the same appearance. Let's try them with some cranberry sauce. Let's start with the original camembert cheese. This is just awesome. It melts in your mouth. 10 out of 10. Now let's try the vegan camembert cheese. Oh, this is impossible to eat again. Just some kind of like cheap cheese product. Zero out of 10. Sprat. This is truly one of the most legendary canned items out there. Let's open them up. Inside we see some fish and oil. Now for the vegan sprouts. It contains tofu, nori leaves, and a couple of types of oil. We open it up. It doesn't look like fish. And if you look at them side by side, then these are generally some different types of canned food. So okay, we'll try them in the form of a sandwich. Therefore, we put some real sprouts on one. and the vegan ones on the other. Okay, so I haven't eaten sprouts for a very long time, and so now let's remember the taste. Let's try it. Yeah, this is awesome. 10 out of 10. Now for the vegan sprouts. The taste is completely different. Overall, it's a good snack, but it doesn't really look like sprouts. Seven out of 10. However, there is one little thing. For one such jar of vegan sprouts, you can buy four cans of normal ones. We have then sausages next. They may not be 100% meat, but there is a predominant amount of it in here. So let's cut off one. Vegan sausages. Again, this is wheat protein, coconut oil, starch, and spices. Let's take one too. Boil some water and put in our sausages to cook. After five minutes, they're ready. So let's try the meat sausage with ketchup. It's a taste that's familiar to everyone. In the morning with pasta is like the main thing to do. Eight out of 10. So now for the vegan sausage. Because of the ketchup, it seemed like I was eating what I was eating, but no, it's just still too weird. Three out of 10. Let's move on to the meatballs. These are made from turkey. The vegan meatballs. They consist of soy protein, coconut oil, and various other flavors and colors. We put two pans on the stove and turn it on the maximum heat. Add some oil. And we put in the meatballs to fry. We need to make sure they get a crust on them. Add some tomato paste after already fried. Water. Mix it all up. And simmer for another half hour. The meatballs are ready. Let's try the turkey ones. Great, 10 out of 10. Now for the vegan ones. There's not really a big, powerful flavor here. And with the tomato sauce, they really look like normal meatballs. So these ones are okay, seven out of 10. And now we have little bars. We open up the usual bounty one. We'll try it. Perfect, 10 out of 10. Now let's open a healthy coconut bar without sugar. Let's try it. Well, that's it. The outside is bitter chocolate and on the inside is a dry, almost unsweetened coconut filling, three out of 10. In general, the result is as follows. Absolutely all vegan foods at times or even dozens of times worse than usual. And also, progress has not really reached the level where it's possible to fully replace meat. So don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Bye, everybody.